Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on this uh, one, two, three, go simple uh, countdown animation. So once the countdown is finished, we can start the play. So we are going to focus on this UI animation, not the actual race. Here is the preview again. All right. So let's see how to do that today. All right. So here I create a new folder in the blueprints UI and you uh, widget blueprint using user widget as the parent. I'll call it uh, WTG count down. Okay, now I'll add a text. Right, I'll center it. Oh wait, we need to wrap this with the canvas panel. So otherwise we don't have a reference to anchor it. So I'll anchor it into the middle. I'll set the alignment X to 0.5. So when I set the position 0, it will be in the middle of the screen. Position Y minus 50. No. It should be positive if we want to put it into the middle we can anchor it to the middle but I don't want to put it into the middle because car would be somewhere around here so I need to show up in a place like this so I'll set uh, Y position 300 let's go with 300 and I need to center the text. Should we start with three size? Uh, let's make this bold and italic and size 72. Not large enough. 140. Okay, so. I'll adjust the size y x and y something like 200 by 200 maybe a little more 400 by 400 ok that should be fine uh, now we need to make an animation so something like coming from here to the middle and go to the side something like that should be good so let's um, create an animation fading how should we start it Let's do the paired in part. So color and opacity. Initially it should be zero. And then wait. I have to select this animation otherwise it won't work. Yeah. Initially I'll set the color to zero. Uh, we need to key that too. And by 0.2 seconds, I make it one and add a key. So this is the speed, okay? And then uh, keep it for until 0.5 seconds. Add another key here. Two five okay at point seven five 
by 0 0.75 I'll make it fade out again that means 0 right so like this well instead of fade in I'll just call it fade because it has both in and out part now let's how do we at the moment here the transform uh, the scale is 1 translation is 0 ok so by this point I'll make the translation zero at the beginning I'll make the translation something like this after a thousand So if I play, wait, didn't I keep the minus 2000, yeah, no, okay, now you got this. Right, so let's do a similar thing to make it move out also. So here again, I'll keyframe this and set to 2000. those at the keyframe if I select it right that's nice maybe we don't have to move that far like this also should be fine otherwise it's too much I think yeah this is better okay now uh, here I'll add a custom function and we need to give the starting position for the countdown so I'll add an input integer start and then we need another text if I have sent a string what to show at the zero like go or start t three two one go something like that so go oh sorry and text right now uh, we need to make the text a variable so I name it uh, text count down right now here we can set text with the oh hold on we need let's promote this to a variable i'll call it start 
or to be more specific countdown start and if this is greater than zero we can uh, set the text with the uh, maybe not a start just I'll call it countdown number I set the text with the countdown number the reason I changed from a start to countdown number is because I'm gonna decrement this so starting having the variable name start doesn't make sense so after setting I'm gonna decrement this and wait one second and come back here like this okay now if this is false we have again set text but with the end text and hold on we need to call display this animation Play animation. Okay, and uh, by default. Let me close this animation tab. By default, I'll make the text here empty, so we wouldn't we wouldn't see anything when we add this to the heart. Uh, now, uh, at the moment, this is just a placeholder. I am not going to implement the whole blocking the player inputs and making other cars don't start until we finish the countdown i'm not going to do any of that today but i will do it in the next episode so for now we just need to see the animation so where should we add the countdown perhaps just for testing i'll add it in the level blueprint in the begin play create widget from WDG countdown do we need a player? I don't think so and then start what's the event name I created? countdown ok countdown maybe we should use start countdown that's more that's better and start value I'll give three in text I'll give go right let's see oh wait we need to add this to
add to viewport otherwise it will not show up right shall we test three two one go wait go oh here we need to again call fade I forgot that we need to get this and is the do we need to make any changes to the font oh we don't see it Let me add some text. Oh, maybe white is okay. Let's add some shadow. Do I see the shadow? I do. Uh, let's make it a different color to make it a bit more pop in the screen mm -hmm. right that's better oh at the end it should vanish so mm, go should disappear uh, but it didn't for some reason oh actually what happens is this we need to key uh, the shadow color as well otherwise shadow color will remain see this is what happens so in the beginning shadow alpha should be zero here right alpha should be zero key that here Alpha should be one. Key that. Here again. One. Key that. And zero. Key that. Okay. Let me show that again. Two, three. Go all right okay that's it and i'm going to stop this episode right here however i will do some more episodes here like to create a complete race with maybe laps couple of laps and yeah a complete race with the icons so thanks for watching as always, project files will be available for download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.